All right, guys, you know what I have? I have one of the most interesting cars available today. It is the Red Cat Ascent LCG, low center of gravity vehicle, belly dragger vehicle, and it is only $289. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, give you a show and tell exactly what you're getting for your money. I'm gonna tell you about the kits that it compares with, that it competes with, and I'm gonna take it out on the trail. I already took it out on the trail, and let me tell you, you gotta, you gotta listen to this little review because 289 bucks for a competition style crawler is a good thing. But now they're going after an untapped market, the LCG competition crawler. Uh, what's out there is the one from Axial, the, the Comp uh, Competition Pro, Comp Pro I think, and that one is expensive, 430 bucks with, for just the chassis. So this one, 289, is <laughs> is crazy all right what's really cool aside from the price is it comes in two body styles uh, this one is the blue and the red they're not only different in color but they're different in st in functionality that one is more scale it kind of looks like the old Toyota stout kind of a basic pickup but this one is dovetailed on the front and on the rear and what that does is it gives it clearance. It exposes the tires, so it gives it the highest performance. So the bumpers really cater to that. They went with uh, new tires, uh, really cool. Uh, very high, very good. These tires are actually very good. So they went with a new radio. Uh, the old one was uh, ready for an update, and this one is quite an improvement. Not high end, but really a lot more ergonomic. Nice angle, nice foam here. And it's a four channel radio, and all the endpoints are adjustable. Uh, it doesn't take JST here, uh, just four double A's, and it has a little storage compartment here. I don't know what you can store there, but let me know in the comments what you plan to do with it. Has a fairly deep bed uh, because it is shaped and beveled. What's really cool is this comes at a nice angle, like almost 90 degrees, and then but if you want to get it out of the way, you just pull it forward. So very cool design, uh, not too heavy. This body is in two pieces a, and you could take, and why that is, is you can take the rear off. So when you take the rear off, the, this thing, the, the, the front cab has rests here that you can bolt them onto. So you can still attach them very easily and securely. Clear windows, ha uh ha. -huh. They went with a flat rail chassis made of steel. I think it's because of weight. Uh, and then the, cause, because the towers are aluminum. So the towers are kind of high, right? So they made that out of aluminum uh, to, to make that, uh, that high center of gravity weight light, but the, the chassis, which is low, they made out of steel. Uh, three millimeter steel, so very <laughs> rigid, you know? You don't need C-channel if it's this rigid. The guts of a system is a simple transmission here, and then the motor is now mounted low. They went with a 550 motor, so big can, but 42 turns, so very, uh, high torque, low RPM motor right here. 35 kg servo, and they said uh, their ESC looks like the same as the old, but it is now pumped up to uh, 7.4 volts to power the servo and five amps. And what that means is you get pretty close to the 35 kg capacity of the servo. Uh, they're saying like 33, 33 kg is what they measured, but I'll measure it myself too. But let me tell you in the crawling, it was plenty strong. All right, so they have a transfer case here that's fairly simple and fairly low. And what's cool is you can change it to overdrive. And basically, right now it's zero overdrive. I like that, that it, it shipped with zero, but you could uh, sh change it to 10% or 20%. And they include that in the kit. Moving on to the details, uh, you can put a big battery in the back, but more typically, you're just gonna want a little pack like this, a comp crawler style pack. This thing can run for an hour, believe it or not. 3S is what I recommend. So, uh, so two battery positions. So you can take off your, your tray if you wanted to. The weight of this vehicle is about five pounds and the distribution is about 59%, 41%. So almost 60-40. It does have the Gen 9 axles. So steering is is pretty good, especially on the right turn. On the downside, it's still looking like the old axle portal and a, a little sharp, but that, what that means is all the upgrades for your Gen 9, uh, maybe you have them in your, your bin already, are compatible with this. And man, nothing like a brass portal axle cover 
to get all that weight down. High clearance links in the front, uh, but when it was shipped, they were not aligned properly. And I've seen three other people uh, with this kit, and uh, basically the high clearance links, uh, instead of going like this, they were going like this. And the reason was, it does touch the drive shaft a little bit. So I think in the first few shipments, until they figure it out, they're, they're, sh they're shipping it to away from the drive shaft. But if you, if you angle it correctly, there will be like that, uh, then you have a performance advantage. The way they have it shipped, there's no performance advantage. Something really nice is the belly is so flat and their skids are world class. Uh, you know, people geek out on these, on these, uh, on these skids. Um, and these are like super rounded and super smooth. It doesn't have a, 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 a good angle to it. Normally it's more angled like this, like 13 degrees. And normally the belly sits lower on a, on a LCG belly dragger. So that's something they didn't quite go with. We have shocks uh, that are pretty cool. So a lot of shock positions and we have these uh, competition style shocks. So you know how, how we do mini T-springs and whatnot, all our belly draggers have these kind of shocks. And they, I'm not sure what the advantage is, but they, they make them, you're able to make shocks that are narrow, that perform very well. Uh, and, but the thing is you can't adjust them. You don't have coilovers to adjust and make them stiffer. What, how you adjust them, and this is okay with comp people, is you just use different springs. And it looks like it's gonna be compatible with low C mini T springs. So uh, I'm gonna compare it to the G-Speed, the one of my best vehicle in the, in the lot, see what it's like. I'm gonna run it box stock first and maybe start upgrading the tires and maybe the springs. All right, on with the test run, we'll start with a steering radius, steering diameter test. And it is pretty tight. Not as tight as the TRX4, but comparable to the rest. And now we start the test course. This is line number one. And what's really cool is I've done this. Oh, look at that descent. descent the descent is a little out of control because as soon as you put some throttle, it just coasts and freewheels uncontrollably. Line number two is right here. Those rocks are pretty slippery. There's a little bump there. And portals able to clear it. Hug the rocks and it's good. So these are stock tires. Stock wheels, stock, stock everything. Right here is very difficult. Line number three. And it just powered through. That is remarkable. Too easy that I said I don't want to do use momentum. I want to use the hanging technique. And this is where all the other vehicles, the trail crawlers, including the best, the base camp axial and the uh, Traxxas TRX4 for sport, they have a little bit of trouble. Their rears collapse and the thing flips over. This thing really did not have a problem. So I'm, I'm purposely not using momentum trying to find some traction it has no problem all right this is the the waterfall wall of doom right here and the tires are not that perfect but look at that it is full on wheels up front wheels up but it doesn't collapse and that's really the the takeaway from this vehicle it's very composed so really good mechanics on this thing and right there I'm just slow crawling it making the right rear wheel hit that bump so the front will go down because I don't have ideal front weight this is a 59 front 41 rear and right here I wanted to go to right but I could not repeat my easy task this took like a couple minutes but what I want to show you is that it didn't lose composure that I was crawling you know I was battling and good cars allow you to have many attempts before just falling over so just imagine if it had better weight distribution now it made that right turn with its tight steering radius this is the comp crawler the g-speed that I have it's wider it's got a lot of brass Proline Hyrax tires and you could see it just yeah like it wasn't even there makes that right turn boom and now we're gonna go for a little side hill side hill test is pretty standard here so I have 
have it all for all the vehicles I've ever tested. And right here, look at that. Going away from me and going towards me. And this is very hard, very slippery over there. No problem. It's plenty wide and low with good tires and good sidewall support that it did not have a problem. Those were both, I think, first attempts. And right here, this is the, oh, right there, we're in trouble. Front is losing it. No sidewall support from those tires. And then boom, it just slid. The vehicle is a little high too and narrow for this kind of, this kind of work. Oh, look at my socks. Those are MTBR socks. If you're a mountain biker, you know that logo. And that's, that's a company I started a long time ago. So yeah, no success. So here is a true LCG. And look at it, just mob these lines. These are difficult lines. And this is the gold standard for the Red Cat Ascent. So boom, boom, boom. No problem. All right, here's Red Cat Ascent. Box stock. Little momentum there. Got it, got, got it done. I had about five failed attempts here. And these are the two successful ones. Little bump. Good. And here, I went, tried to go to the right. No chance. No chance. All right. Here I do a notch. And then ride the spine right here. And then try another climb. Kind of a new, new uh, line here. No chance. <laughs> and then I use the G speed. And there really isn't a line here, but a belly dragger, this is what it can do. It just kind of hangs. And then look at that. Right when you don't have a chance, oh, boom, it just went up and over. All right, this is the scraggly spine that we usually do. And you want to see how composed the vehicle is and how its clearance is. And the portals really help. The modulation on this vehicle is hard. I'll take that. Uh, it's just a, not a good e ESC at all. And right there, does very well. This is a little side side hill slippery rock situation you have to grab the side of the rock with your side walls and but then that's the, the strength of this vehicle very composed and here the hang up the hang up the the sliders are very good the belly's flat Ooh, you see that axle clear so done done good so this is a demonstration of what a LCG can really do it's gonna descend but it's gonna use a trick <laughs> it falls and hangs and then you just punch it so did not try it with the uh, red cat and then here is a very technical rocky and tight climb need steering you need clearance and this is where the bob or the dovetailed front and the dovetailed rear really helps expose those tires to where they can grip and then you have to make a super tight left turn here the bumper was never really an issue that's how good it is so the approach angle is excellent departure angle is excellent a lot of body rubbing in the front and some on the rear very annoying but easy fix so and that's with stock tires all right now i use the pro and hyrax tires and right there no delay didn't take five minutes it just went up all right now we do some side hill and these are not great siding tires but the foam is good pro line foam and it did it so cool We'll flip and then here realize how slippery this side is and this this vehicle is a little narrow and a little bit high compared to the and it didn't have much of a chance I tried like 10 times 
and then here I'm gonna try the the right line so I failed like five times but I said hey it looks good sometimes you could see if you have a good chance of success right there especially when it's settled it's not flipping over all right finally let's do pros and cons the pros number one is it's the right kit for the right time you know people are looking for performance but no one wants to spend a thousand bucks figuring out what parts to do for a low CG. Even the actual competition uh, chassis is expensive. It's gonna be 800 bucks by the time you're done with a $430 chassis. So here, 289 or 290, you're ready to run. And the number two is, I alluded to, is the price. The price is incredible, uh, 290. Uh, if I had a friend that was looking to, to get started crawling, I would recommend this. You know, the fact that they have a new radio very good now this radio is better than the competition than the traxxas or the actual uh or even the the element rc so i'm very happy uh, with this radio so far another plus is the shocks the shocks are quite good a really cool detail that they put in the shocks is they put a negative spring so check this out so that's the shock at rest right i'm gonna pull it and there's another five or eight mil of travel that's in there um, so the the negative spring pulls it forward so at to the 80% level. So what that does is ride height. The fact that they have a removable uh, uh, bed is good because you can, you, can make it, you can make it a vehicle lighter while optimizing your weight distribution. In fact, you can remove some other parts here. You can remove this battery tray. You don't want that there. Use that too much anyway. And you can use some, you can remove this little structure here. Uh, and even these these body mounts, right? The tires are good too. So, bunch of pluses on this vehicle. These bumpers, some of the best in class, because they are not only out of the way. You expect them to to hit something, and then they're just gonna slide off. All right, what's not good? Number one, not good thing is the ESC. So the ESC is very jerky. It seems similar to what you see on on bashers. So another con is the springs seem rather hard. So look at that, it doesn't sag, it doesn't sit, okay? Uh, in fact, a lot of our belly draggers uh, have really soft springs or no springs. You just boom, <laughs> go like that, and that's when you get the real performance. All right, another con is the, the it's not beadlocks, and the foam is really not supported. Look, at, look how, look how, look how loosey-goosey that is. I had, I had a very, very tough time side healing. Okay, another con is it is rather narrow. Uh, it would have it would helped. Uh, the LCG world if you were wider and the last con I will say is it was shipped rather high so we moved the the rear shock position from here to here it would not sag at all not not even a millimeter so when we do this it moves a little bit especially when the body's on but a con on the on the front is you we want to lower the front a little bit but it's already at the max position so it'd be good if it was shipped in the middle position and you can move it around but there's no way to lower the front anymore I'm, I, my mind's kind of blown right now because it performs so well. I think it's better than a base camp or the TRX4. Uh, and, but there's so much potential, you know? You know, no weights. Even with my comp tires, these have no weights whatsoever. So you're, you're getting this and it's, it's still riding high. So an amazing vehicle for 290 and so much modding potential uh, on this one. All right, thanks a ton.